Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormack and welcome to the Lightroom Vlog channel. It's Friday, so this is Photo Friday. And today we're going to look at a product called MagMod. Hey folks, so MagMod basically make grips. Uh, they also have things like uh, gels and gel holders and grids. Uh, other things that they have include uh, things like the mag beam, which let you either use a telephoto uh, lens, that's actually the telephoto lens, and then, or a wide lens. The telephoto lens will just let you beam further, basically. Um, so what it does is it concentrates the beam a little bit more so you can light stuff very, very far away. So it's good for birders, for example. Um, now, they say that it gives you a stop and a half extra light, but really what it's doing is it's, it's like a hose, it's just concentrating the light into a tighter spot. Um, you can't make more light out of nowhere, it's physically impossible. So when you have it really, really small like this, you can also mount things called gobos, which are, stand for go-betweens. So these are little shapes that you can then put in, and so these will beam onto a wall and create a shape in the background and things like that. I've actually been using particular ones like this one, and what else we have, and this one, to just literally project speed lights onto somebody. So the, as the key light, not as a background light. So we'll talk a little bit about the stuff for, for a second. All right, so the idea with them is that you take your flash and then you will put the grip on them. So this stretches and then fits over the front of the flash. It can be awkward enough to get on. All right, so there we go, got it on. And so once it's on, any of the bits, like grab a grid for example, Nope, oh, wrong way around. Uh, the magnets are very, very strong, so they force it away there. So it literally just pops on. That's it. Okay, very, very, very handy. I want to change it and put a gel on instead. There you go. So you can buy gels with them. They do come with a gel pack, but also there's creative color gels as well, which are the ones I generally use. Okay, a little tip. Um, the great thing about these, right, is that you just squish in, right? Okay, so these fit in really, really well here. And because they're rigid, you're not fiddly trying to fit them through gaps and stuff like that, like in some other systems. Uh, normal gels are more like this, you know, whereas these are solid. However, let's say you're in a situation where you want an unusual gel color that they don't, they don't provide, like this is a flame color. You can, of course, just put it across the flash and then just pop the, the magnetic holder in front of it. Just make sure it's completely covered, that's all. So that's just a little tip for you. Um, however, normally I would try and use these ones just because they're more convenient. The other thing is when you take them off and they go back in the pack. So what I've done is I've just got a little uh, pack here that has gels in them and holds the gobos as well. It's not the Magmod wallet, it's just one I picked up off eBay. Um, so they're really handy. So as you can see, I have tons of gels. Some of these are the original packs. I bought both the creative pack and the color pack as well. So. The newer ones do have the colors written on them, the older ones don't. Um, uh, that's part of being on the bleeding edge of buying stuff. Uh, these are also the version one of the magmods, so the magnets are here. In the version two, the mag magnets are on the side because the magnets do tend to come out. You just push them back in. Um, that's really all there is to it. Okay, so what I have been using these for is I will use the grids when I'm using a backlight. I, just to get concentrated light, so uh, I'm not, like, you know, I'm not getting destroyed by light everywhere, pouring everywhere. I'd also tend to zoom the flash as well, um, just to make the most of it. And the other thing is, I actually do use the mag gels. He says, as he realizes, he doesn't already put it down. Oh yeah, because I put one of them back in. So I grab one out here. Uh, they're all the normal ones. I prefer the colorful ones. There are ND ones as well, so if your flash is too powerful, you can bring them down even more. So let's get, go for something like that. So I would tend to use, I would even use these in studio when I'm using my lights. So a lot of the, the, the shots that you see with my gels and stuff like that, I probably have used one of these to up light a little bit just to throw in as a fill light underneath. Um, or you can bounce it off a reflector as well. Um, it is possible to do a whole gel set using just these. The disadvantage with using speed lights, of course, is if you know modeling bulb to see where your light is falling. And the key to any gel shooting is that the gels fill in the shadow areas. So you have to know what the shadow areas are to get exactly what you're looking for. Okay, so those are the MagMod. And the beauty of them is, obviously, 
everything goes on and pile them on top of each other as well Oop, but it does get a bit weighty like that um, and they come off just as easy as that in the store I generally have bundles of them so they're all kind of stored you know as tight as you possibly can now folks I will warn you that there are Chinese knockoffs of these that are uh, cheaper versions of them and um, the magnets are not the same. I, ha I did get a set just to try them. The magnets are nowhere near as good. And the other thing is that the gels that they come with are ordinary gels that are then sandwiched between bits of laminate. T they're not great. These are, these are like way, 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 way better. Now obviously it's like $25 for a set of gel of these rigid gels, but they will last forever. So, you know, that makes it worth it. Uh, like a sheet of gel is eight quid anyway, you know? So, I, cause I bought sheets of this stuff for my tube. I'm doing tube lighting. And so, yeah, a sheet. Well, a sheet would probably last a lifetime as well, but you'll only, for $25, you get three colors, you know? So that is pretty much talking about it. And it, it's a really convenient system. Uh, I use it all the time. It's way better than trying to Velcro stuff around. Some people leave these on in the bag. I tend not to, what I do is I store them in the bag. So I take them like this, and I turn them inside out like that, so that they pack up really, really small. Uh, do use them all the time, love them. Really, really recommend them. I'm not an affiliate or anything like that. Um, they're slightly pricey, but at the same time, they're still pretty cheap. The basic kit is 89 quid, so basic that's the basic kit. So, and then co color correction gels. So folks, uh, I'm obviously gonna do some shoots with these and show you these as well in shoots. Um, but like I've been putting up some images that I've shot with them as well, just as we've gone along here. But I will do shoots and show them in action as well. So I have a couple of ideas to show you, a couple of different looks that you can get by using speed lights and the magmod stuff together to get some very 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 cool looks folks thanks for watching this if you haven't subscribed please do consider subscribing i put out photo stuff on fridays and lightroom stuff on tuesdays with occasional bonus videos hit the thumbs up if you want to give the video a like and uh yeah that's pretty much it you know uh, if you want to get notified hit the notification bell uh, again i do appreciate that you've taken the time to watch this and i will see you in the next video